TV. I'm Patrick Norton. And I'm Robert Heron. And this is a MacBook Pro. And boy, is it hot because it's running. And it's probably, it's, I gotta, you know, I'm going to call out to Nick, who's our audio guy, who's also the in-house Macintosh expert. Hi. I insert long suffering onto there. Do you have the, do you have, do we have you on audio? Yes. So, Nick, we're running Windows XP on this. Uh-huh. That is, uh, oops, let me see if you can get there, 3D Mark 2006. Is it the 1600, the mobile version of the ATI 1600 that's built into this notebook? Yeah, it is. And that 3D Mark 06 score is really in line with what a mobile Radeon 1600 would be in a Windows machine, too. You know, and this is the part where we go, hey, look, it's it's a Mac and it's running Windows. Isn't that creepy? <laughs> it's not a scam. What do you think was the, what's the, what, I mean, you know, you're deeper into, into, into Apple than we are these days. What do you think, I mean, what's their motivation for this? I Why think the motivation is to be able to say there's one computer on the planet that can run all the premier OSs and the only place you can get it is from Apple, you know? That's kind of the PCs. And you're pretty happy with the gaming performance. Yeah, I tried uh, Quake 4, not my favorite game, but the first one that was at hand. And it was able to run at uh, 720p resolution mm -hmm. with everything turned to high and anti-aliasing um, set at 2x. And I didn't notice any frames dropping at all. I wasn't able to run fraps on it, so I don't know exactly what frame rate I was getting. But it was very smooth and very playable. It's going to be interesting to see because a lot of people are excited excited about the idea of actually having uh, uh, games running on, uh, uh, on, or should you say more games, other, something other than, I guess, World of Warcraft right. on, the, on the notebook. And, and the installation was very, very smooth. It's very easy. Um, for anybody out there planning on doing this, do make sure that you go to Apple's site and download the firmware update. Um, that will not show up in the automatic uh, software updates in OS X. You have to download that manually, and it's required to run boot camp. Now here's a here's a hot tip. Other than Shift F10, is there an easy way to do the right click on a notebook that has one button? Um, there is absolutely no way to right click on a MacBook Pro without an external mouse. Ha <laughs> ha! Absolutely no way to right click so at all. So even the legendary Shift F10 doesn't work. Does not work. That's the most disappointing thing I've run into in years. Yeah, I was surprised. So also, now I can't shut off Prince of Persia. <laughs> the delete key is also recognized as a backspace. So if you join your MacBook Pro to a domain, make sure you turn off the secure login feature um, because you can never do a Control Alt Delete without an external keyboard. Yeah, I was gonna say now I'm, I'm I just went to do the three fingered salute. Yeah. So you cannot you cannot. Uh, if you plug in a USB keyboard, it works fine. Yeah, I know, but you see, it's a notebook. I don't right. want to plug in a USB keyboard. They they have some keyboard, keyboard and mouse issues to work through. Um, it is beta though, still at, at this true. point. So. And it's free. Right. And it was shockingly, actually, the the biggest the most painful part of we installed it on the Mac Mini. The most painful part that we had to deal with was. Um, <laughs> repairing the hard drive, which is part of the install disk, because when we went to partition the drive using the tool, uh, Bootcamp is the name of the tool, because we haven't mentioned it. Bootcamp will actually partition the hard drive, create the, uh, create the PC partition on that, uh, and move it over. And above and beyond that, it was it was a, it was as easy as a Windows install would be normally. Except, for, of course, you have to have the actually. You know what? It is easier than a Windows install because all of the latest drivers were available, created to you by the Boot Camp Disk <laughs> Tool, the Boot Camp Assistant. That's actually really funny because normally you'd have to run around all over the web to get all the drivers you need. Um, That's really cool. It's exciting. That makes it easy. This yeah. is also the most sensitive touchpad I've ever run into in my life. So we're going to plug a keyboard into this and show you Quake 4 when we come back from the D-Block. But it's, uh, it works. It's pretty painless. And we're going to talk to you about some virtual solutions that are going to be available and are in beta and you can try out now on uh, Tuesday's show next week. That was the Mac <laughs> Mini in case you heard that soft little sigh of restart. We're going to cut to a commercial. Nick, thanks, dude.